All right, what about total distance over the entire length of the movement for this particle? Well, remember, if I've got velocity, if I integrate velocity, so if I integrate V of T, I get position, and position is usually referred to as S of T, okay? If I know where I start and I add my position to that, I get my total displacement, like how far I, you know, how far I moved from where I started. But what if I moved left, then right, then left, then right, and did some kind of weird, herky-jerky, goofy stuff in the process? What if I just wanted to know the total distance I traveled? Like I could move two units. If I started, let's say I've got a particle that starts here at one, and he does all of this, and he's he stops right here at two. Okay, let's say this is the setup that I have. Well, if this is the setup that I've got and I and I stop here at two, well, now now what? You know, the net change is just one unit, but he traveled all this other way. So what we can do is we can actually take the integral, uh, well, not that one. We can take our integral and we put in our starting and stopping values. So where we start and where we stop, okay? And then what we do is we actually look at the absolute value of the velocity. Now, the one thing you're going to love about this is use your calculator, okay? Because otherwise, integrating absolute value can just be really, really tricky. So what are we going to do? We're going to start here. We're going to stop here. We're going to plug this guy into our calculator. What are we going to plug in? Well, let's look at the second part of that first example where we went for uh, through five different units. So when I do that, I'm looking at the absolute value now of t squared minus 8 over t plus 1 squared. And I'm taking the absolute value of that with respect to the variable t. Now what? Well, now what means I punch it into my calculator. And when I punch it in uh, to my handy dandy calculator here, you can use the template. You can graph it and, and graph the absolute value of that and find the integral. We've got lots of different ways to do it. And in fact, I'll do a sli I'll, I'll link in a second video that shows you exactly what you need to do. But when you punch it into your calculator and you do this work, you end up traveling 42.59 total units, okay? That's how far you've, you've actually gone over the course of the entire movement for this particular particle. So anyway, really, really interesting stuff, uh, and, and it's kind of fun to mess with, all right?